anyone would say, craft is a note-taking app. But that would be an understatement to the power and flexibility that this app offers, as you can really use it as you wish. I have been using it as a solo indie game dev and as a content creator, and it really has helped me get my thoughts in order. When I started going back into work mode after taking a break for a couple months, I quickly started getting overwhelmed. As it always happens to me, a swarm of thoughts were coming my way every day, and I needed a new place for my brain dumps. That's where craft came into picture. It has all the basic stuff that you would expect from a note-taking app, but it can be much more powerful than you think. This is its home screen, which shows all of my documents in a very pleasing manner. Coming from a design background, I can say that this feels like something that I want to use. It looks pretty nice, right? So let's see how it works. Let's create a folder. Let's look for a nice icon for it, like this one. Let's color it to something that matches our own taste. And finally, let's add a name to it. Now, let's create a new document inside it. Let's call this one, my video game. Let's start building some stuff. Let's put some text inside it. As you would expect in this type of app, all text and content works in a block system, so you can drag and drop stuff to wherever you want. It's a pretty smooth and snappy experience overall. You can customize it easily, as this is all built on markup language, but there is all sorts of additional customization that gives crafts an edge over other apps. For example, this document looks like any other document, but with a small amount of clicks, we can turn it into something more personal that resonates with us or with the topic of the document. Let's try turning these titles into something cooler. This gradient looks nice, right? Let's speed this up and change the titles in all of the document. Now let's add the cover image and see how it looks. We can import our own images or you can use one from Unsplash. You really got all sorts of options for it. For example, let's find a purple one for my game. Let's also try importing an outside image. For example, this one, which is a banner for my game Spaceman Memories. Great, both images give a very nice look to all of the page. If we go a step back into the folder, you can see that this document is already looking very nice. This already works, but let's keep making it better. We'll add a new section called Features. Let's change how it looks to something more suitable with the overall document. Let's make it bolder, bigger, and change its color, and also set it to drop down section. Now, select all the blocks, cut and paste them inside, and now we've got a nice drop down. Pretty cool. Now let's set it to a nicer color. Let's pump this up with cooler stuff. We can also change the background color to one of these beautiful gradients. This really changes the overall look of it and makes a big difference compared to how we started. Also, we can set up the document to a white page format. See, this has a major difference from the initial version of it. But wait, let's make it more interesting. Let's create a new section called images. Now, let's drag some images into this document. They end up taking too much space, so we will put them in another page. So, let's select our title and go into its attributes to change it to a new card. Let's turn it into this horizontal card. We can also set a game image from my folder and apply it. Now, let's select all of the images and drag them onto it. Now we've got our gallery in a much more orderly manner. Let's also do this with some devlogs about the game. Let's create a new section, change its block appearance to a card, and let's go into it. Let's bring some YouTube links into here. Let's change their appearance to something more suitable for this content, and now easily we got our video library inside the game page. 
Let's color code and do something more suitable with the overall document. With all of this, in just a couple minutes we have created a new document that serves as a display page for my video game. I encourage you to try something similar with whatever project you have in mind. So there it is, the Space from Memories display site. Let's try something else in another document. For example, this chunk of code. Craft can be very helpful if you want to reference code inside your documents. We can set the programming language of the code block and now we've got syntax highlighted. It's a pretty nice implementation if you want to create documents that reference whatever code you are writing in your projects. We can also change the appearance of the document. Now we've got a good looking document with some code inside it. Let's try another document. We'll change its looks first. Let's speed this up to save some time. There it is, looking good. You can also create to-do lists in craft, and the items in them can even be text or images. Let's try creating one. I got this list of stuff I gotta do this week. I will turn it into a to-do list and mark the items I have already finished. Great, pretty intuitive, right? But what if I had a bunch of images I wanna go posting on social media and wanna keep track of the ones I have uploaded? Let's go and find our game screenshots card. Let's copy and paste it into our to-do document. Now, let's go inside it and let's select all of the images and turn them into a to-do list. Now, I can mark the images I have already uploaded and keep track of them in a much more visual way. I can even color code them for visual clarity. Pretty neat, right? So what about navigation and linking other stuff inside the app? Craft has its own search function, which is very powerful. We'll see how it works in a bit. But before that, let's go into daily notes, which is a pretty neat feature of Craft. If we click the calendar icon on the top left, we can find the daily notes, which is a place where you can keep track of journals, daily tasks, or whatever comes to mind on a specific date. For example, let's link some documents to this daily note. We can press command do to enable the search function. Let's find a document to link it to the daily note of today. Great, I found my gallery. Let's confirm it's the one I want. Yes, this is the one. Let's go back into my daily note. If you type the add sign and start writing, you can link whichever document is inside your workspace. Let's link the images library we just created. I'm gonna edit the appearance of this link and there it is. Now I have my pictures library linked to the daily note of this specific date. If you hover on top of it, you can preview the content of your link. This is a pretty neat feature to speed up your workflow. Let's go back into our daily note. I can share this note as any other document, but what makes it nice is that I can even send it to another app, like day one, which is the one I use specifically for long journals. That is pretty nice functionality. But what about adding or linking external stuff to craft? It also works great with that. Let's create a new document and let's give it a nice appearance to give some personality to it. Let's also add a nice cover image to make it look better. There it is, now we can start adding stuff. Let's drag and drop some PDF books inside here. I can change the appearance and order of the documents and I can easily visualize whichever I want. I can even color code them if I have an organization system. If you open one of these documents inside Craft, you can even make annotations on them. Let's add some highlight to this comic. Pretty cool, right? If I go and open another document or do anything inside Craft and go back to this document, the annotations will be saved. That really is a nice feature with infinite possibilities. Now let's add a divider to this document and let's bring some links from the web into it. As you saw before, the links get imported in a very pleasing way, with an image and a description each. I can even add comments to each one so I can remember any special info about them. 
You can also go into their options in case you want to change something about this blog, but let's stick with comments for now. This can help me remember stuff in the future or can even reference to other people before clicking the link. This is where Craft opens the door for collaboration or sharing the stuff to other people. So with all of that in mind, let's see what's up with sharing stuff with Craft. Let's say I want to create a small portfolio and blog and share it so other people can access it. I can easily do that with Craft. Let's fast track this just for the sake of explanation. Let's create a new document and I will import some info about myself and some images from some of my projects. I will set a new page or card for each section and give it a nice look. Then I will import some images for each project. Then let's add some text blocks as blog posts in the bottom and set their appearance. And finally, let's change the background to match the mood of what I'm looking for. Now I can go into the top right and click the share button which will open this menu in which I can define the access to this document. I will set this one to public so anyone can access it. Now if I click the link, I can see it on the web as a website. Let's see how it looks on another device. Yeah, looks like a sleek website, doesn't look like a simple document. I can even see the metrics about the visits to the link to keep my own analytics inside Craft. This is really cool and extends the functionality of the whole app. As an app, it's gorgeous. It's responsive, it's intuitive and it's smooth. Not to be an evangelist here, but I would seriously recommend it to make your working days better. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and please check out the links in the description to support the channel. Also, let me know what you think about craft. If nothing more to say, see you when I see you. If I have a dollar for every time that my life took a sour turn, I'd be rich and rolling violet and hollering at your girl. I'd be making little money and spending it like I'm rich. I'd be making bad decisions and thinking that I'm the...